What is a proc sort? Proc sort, it's a procedure that uh, sorts the data set, right? And by default, what is the sorting order of proc sort? By default, it's ascending. Sorting of the data set and uh, in which statement do we mention the variable? The sorting order, suppose I have to sort uh, employee data set uh, by age, then by which statement uh, I have to mention the age? The by itself, yeah. So it's a by statement. And suppose I have to sort it by two variables. How will I do that? By age and then by salary. What will be my by statement then? Uh, the employee data set by age and salary. So what will be my uh, uh, syntax then? Proc sort employee and then by age salary. So that's how it works. So, uh, okay, so far uh, the variables which we have mentioned in the by statement, if you had noticed, all these are numeric variables. The age, the salary have been numeric variables. But uh, what about character variables? Suppose I have this uh, uh, employee data set. Okay, what are the possible variables I can see? Name, age, salary, right there could be also variables like called gender department so there will be also be cases where i want to be sorting it in terms of gender as well suppose i want uh, the females to be shown first and then the males right so sorting can be done for both numeric and character variables okay but how does the sorting works? In case of numeric variables, we understand the numeric values. And uh, by default, it is ascending. And uh, by uh, if you want descending, we can mention the descending keyword. But what about uh, in case of character variables? How does this ascending and descending work? Well, it's pretty simple. simple. The order in character variables is also by default uh, ascending. And by ascending, I mean alphabetical. Like A comes first and then B, then C, then so on. D, like that. Okay, let me show you. This is SAS portal. You guys are aware of that. Okay, let me show you the data set first. Okay, this is my out data data set in which I'm using the data lines keyword. What is data lines used for? To insert data, right? Basically, we're hard coding the information. We are mentioning in the code itself all the observations. So this is my data step where I have to mention all the rows here. So that's why I'm using data line. So I'm creating a data set and these are my observations. Okay, let me show you this data set in the first place. I'm printing in the same time by using the procedure proc print. So this is a result, right? Whatever I mentioned in the code, if you can see, that this is my age, gender, department. Then we have uh, three observations, my nice ops one, ops two, ops three. Those are just random names of the variables. Okay, so these are the values. So accordingly, we have the results. Let me uh, sort it on the basis of age and department. Let me check the department, whether it is, uh, what is department, a numeric variable or a character? Okay, it's a numeric uh, variable, uh, so this dollar sign is indicating, okay, the answer is the department is actually the numeric variable and gender is a character variable because after the name of the variable only we mentioned a dollar sign to indicate uh, that it's a character. So this dollar sign is actually for gender, not for department. Okay, let me sort it on the basis of gender and age. Okay, I'm just selecting this portion of code and I'm running this. Okay, have I mentioned proc print? No, I haven't. Let me show you in the result window because uh, it uh, comes very neat. Notice I had mentioned in the code gender first and then age. So by gender also it's uh, coming in the ascending uh, format. So alphabetically F come first, the letter F come first uh, ahead of M. Okay, there are only two genders, right? Male and female. And F is coming first ahead of M because alphabetically F comes ahead of M. Okay, so this shows that by default, the sorting order is in alphabetical. That is from 
a to z okay where a comes first okay uh, now let's see we mentioned uh, gender and then we mentioned age okay let's look at the age age also uh, okay by default uh, it is ascending so first one comes then we have two then we have three then one again okay then we have the male and then we have one two three and so on okay brilliant what if i mention three variables here let's see whether this works or not if this is working this is well and fine let's check the logs the 19 observations prop friend okay and this is my result so first on the basis of gender we are getting the females and then on the basis of age there is one there are twos and there are some threes and then we have department one one okay and for the age two we have one five and then we have for for age three we have two and then a three and four as well and then we have the males okay so this is how prop sort works basically you can mention it infinite variables okay definitely won't mention infinite variables there are some primary variables involved some important variables in every data set they are some so you mention those you sort them on basis of that order only suppose if you have noticed here how many variables are there uh, there is age there is gender department ops one ops two and ops three okay suppose i want to sort this by all of the variables on the basis in the same order first on the basis of age then gender then department ops one ops two ops three so how this will work do i have to mention all the variable names no i don't have to i use underscore all underscore sort by all if i sort this by all let's see how this works this is how it works in the same order first by age then by gender we have females and then we have the males and then other departments one one three among females and one one four then we have observations 719 within department 7 and then on 25 14 same thing okay so this is the order by all okay so this is how proxort works